And now you guys know how to wire a light bar or ditch lights anywhere to a Cali Ray switch. If you guys end up buying one of these bad boys, What's up you guys, uh, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you just exactly how to wire a light bar. Of course, there's a more in-depth on how to install a light bar. For example, if you wanted to install it on the roof of your uh, truck or vehicle, or if you wanted to install it maybe behind your grill or a hidden bumper light bar like I have, of course, you're gonna need a uh, different type of brackets. You're gonna have to account for uh, going through the firewall. But for today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you exactly how to wire it up. Uh, and of course, I'm also going to be doing a little bonus. So I do have a Cali Ray switch. I know I've done a previous video on it already, but for this video, I'm going to show you just everything laid out right here on the table. Just that way you guys see where the wiring goes and the process and all that. I'm going to go ahead and show you just what you need, how to do it, and just have some fun with this. I'm going to be giving this exact light bar away. This one is a 30 inch light bar, the one that I will be giving away. Of course, it's going to be pre-wired and everything. So that way it's just a plug and play when you receive it, if you win. Um, if you do not want the 30 inch, just please let me know when you win. And uh, if anything, I'll just send you out a 32 inch light bar, which is what I have in my hidden bumper uh, right here. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll explain to you in a little bit how you could win this whole set. Alright, so for starters, it doesn't matter what kind of light bar you're getting. Of course, we are doing the example on an aux beam and a Cali Ray switch, but you are going to need a wire harness, which I'll pull this out right now. Of course, depending the brand and everything that you get, they may come a little bit differently, but as far as for the aux beam, uh, it does come with your pre-wired switch already, which we cannot install this switch on the truck because it will not fit. Uh, these switches are a little too big. So that's why we're gonna account and uh, install a Cali Ray switch on this thing. It'll come with your ground and your power. It also comes with the relay. So I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to do that. Depending on where you're gonna install it and all that, you are gonna have to choose the sizing. So there's the light bar right there. And of course, as you could tell, uh, the wiring is just, it's not a plug and play. It is spliced and that's what I'm going to be showing you today on how to wire this. Depending where you're going to be mounting it as well, not only for the size that you need to purchase, you're also going to need to account for uh, purchasing brackets on where you're going to install it. You can't just throw this in there and, and think it's going to stay. No. You're going to need to, of course, buy those brackets separately. What I usually always do for myself and whenever I install for friends or anything like that, I always get well, now I have a bunch of these uh, little uh, connectors. So it's just a, a male connector and a female connector, which you can purchase at AutoZone. Black electrical tape. I also like picking up this Tesla wire loom tape. The reason why is because you could always cover the excess wiring if it is exposed with this, and it gives it a more uh, stock look rather than this just uh, black tape. You will need some wire cutters and some wire splitters. This over here is extra, so you don't really need this, but if you do want a super clean install, it will help you out with it, which is a heat gun and some heat shrink tubing. We're gonna be focusing on is this right here. So of course this wire, this specific wire harness is uh, practically just for ditch lights. As you can tell, there's a left side and a right side to wire up the lights. We don't need both sides. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be splicing from here. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this off this. So this section here, like I said, this is if you had ditch lights, we're not installing ditch lights. We're gonna be showing you exactly how to wire a light bar. Install video on how I did my hidden light bar. So you get a better example. Uh, you can go ahead and watch that one. It will be in the description box below. Go ahead and get your wire splitters. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, just splice this open. Just to give you an example, the red one from the light bar is gonna go with the white one on the wire harness. And the black one from the light bar is going to go onto the black one from the wire harness. So we're going to go ahead and connect those in a minute. Before doing so, now we're going to go ahead and uh, put this down really quick. And let's go ahead and get our male and female connectors. Two of the male connectors and then two of the female connectors. So you're going to end up putting two of the male connectors either on the light bar or on the wire harness. And then the two female ones, you're gonna go ahead and either put them on the light bar or on the wire harness. The reason why is because what these do is they just allow it for a plug and play. 
So you'll see in a minute what I mean, but it makes it a lot easier of an install and that way if you ever want to switch your light bar out, you can do so. Or if you just want to go ahead and solder them on, you can do that as well. Next step, like I said, you're going to go ahead and get your connectors. I'm going to go ahead and use the males for the light bar. If you wanted the install to go super easy and say you didn't have a heat gun and you didn't have heat shrink, you'd of course just uh, slide these things over, slide this over just like that. And then of course you would crimp them down. Uh, if you want it for a cleaner install and you do have a heat shrink wrap and you do have a heat gun What you would do then is you'd get your heat shrink You'd want to go ahead and put it over you would get your connector You'd put it over you want to make sure the wire is in contact with the silver chrome on on the connector I'm gonna go ahead and crimp it down Make sure it's not gonna fall off stay tuned because in a minute once I'm done with these connections I'll go ahead and explain on how you can win the light bar how oh, wow well, you can capture but the heat shrink is there and the heat shrink is there so just what the heat shrink is gonna do is you want to go ahead and pick it up a little bit over the connector like I said this is not needed it just makes it look for a cleaner install once you have it over the connector just a tad bit just like that nice and clean now we're gonna go ahead and put the heat shrink over the other connector just like that go ahead and get your heat gun be super careful with this because the heat is really strong and just quickly go over it and you'll start seeing the heat shrink shrink i'm gonna give it evenly and like i said just be really careful with this because it could melt your wiring done it gives it for a nice clean professional install i'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side now let's go ahead and focus on the wire harness the wires we've cut from the wire harness now let's go ahead and get some more heat shrink. Go ahead and slide it over. And go ahead and get the two female connectors. Like I said, if you wanted a just uh, easy install, you can go ahead and put both of these on, just like that, and crimp them down. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the heat shrink so it looks more professional. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off really quick. And go ahead and slide over the heat shrink. If you have questions even after this install, just let me know if you need help with the installs and you're in the SoCal area. Give me an email. My email is in the description box below. I'll give you some prices. Now that we're here, I have my heat shrink. And I'm going to go ahead and put the two females over the wiring. You can see it. I'm going to go ahead and crimp it down. Just give it a little tug. Make sure it's not uh, falling off. So go ahead and put the next one. Crimp it down. Nice and tight. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, slide over the heat shrink. Two males on this side two females on this side. So now it makes it for a plug and play. As an example, if you're, uh, you already had mounted it and everything like that, you have your connections on. Now you would wanna go ahead and find a way to run your harness through the firewall into wherever you're gonna put the switch. We do want an in detail example on how I installed my hidden light bar. I know I keep repeating it, but if you wanna see how I got the wire harness through the firewall into the cab of the truck, watch my install video, it is in the description box below. And this also applies for if you do ditch lights or any type of lighting outside of your vehicle that you have to run it inside. So this is just the wiring process of it. So let's go ahead and plug this in. To plug this in, the red one is gonna go with the white one of the wire harness. So you just go ahead and plug it in. I'm not gonna plug mine in all the way because I wanna be able to disconnect it for you guys when I send it out. Especially if you guys don't want this 30 inch and you guys want a 32 inch. Plug in the other side. So black of the light bar with black of the wire harness. Uh, red of the light bar with the white of the wire harness. Just wanna go ahead and get some black tape. And the reason we're getting black tape is we're gonna go ahead and cover up the connections just like that. And then you wanna go ahead and cover up the other side as well. You've covered up your connections. The reason why we're not letting these touch is because if you do let them touch, it will cause a short. So just please keep that in mind. Make sure to cover those up. If you really wanted a super, super clean install, now you can just go ahead after you've taped them with your electrical tape. Now you can go ahead and get some uh, wire loom tape and just tape this up. Just that way it looks like a clean install. I'm not gonna do that because like I said, I have to disconnect it for you guys, but that's if you're doing it yourself. So you would want to connect this one to the positive of your battery, connect this to the negative of your battery, and your light bar will turn on and off. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. And then of course, I still gotta show you how to wire up the Cali Ray switch if you do not want this switch. Before we go any further though, I just wanted to let you know how you can enter into today's giveaway. Basically to enter in today's giveaway, uh, light bar, wire harness, switch, either stock switch or OEM switch for 2016 and up Tacomas. Uh, it's gonna be easy. In the comment section below, just let me know one thing that you guys are really grateful for and just also 
uh, let me know what your first mod has been on your truck car vehicle it doesn't matter what you have whether it's a sticker light bar suspension doesn't matter what it is uh, just let me know those two things and put enter me and that's your ticket to win now let's go ahead and figure out how to wire up the switch and then i'll go ahead and show you that it actually works all right so like i said if uh, you don't have a third gen tacoma and you do not want me to send you out the cali ray switch uh, you're done with the install you just connect uh, the red to of course the positive of the battery and the black one to the negative of the battery but if you do have a 2016 and up tacoma and you want me to send you the switch i'm going to be sending you out the one that says led light bar and these are cool because they look OEM. Of course, uh, you're probably not going to be able to mount this unless you buy the bracket that I have. So you can always just mount that one down here or something. Uh, when they're off, the light is off. When they're on, as you can kind of tell, the light turns on. I don't have nothing uh, connected to this, so it doesn't work. But it's just there for looks. But yeah, so let's go ahead and show you just exactly how to wire this up. I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to go from this switch to the Cali Race switch which this is a lot better and as you can tell the sizing is a lot different if you notice back here the colors of the wire is a lot different than the cali ray switch so it's not like a plug and play or anything like that as you can tell this one has the connectors and this one has a different type of connection if you do this wrong it's not going to work pay attention to the coloring pay attention to this part and you should be good because i've done that on my truck i've done that on friends trucks and they all work out good so pay attention to this part all right so to be able to wire up this cali ray switch you're going to need three of the female Male connectors and need three of the male connectors you're gonna notice uh, your rocker switch that comes provided is right here you notice there's a connection here Make things easier we'll go ahead and disconnect it but here's the wire harness that's connected to the light bar right now and this is the wire for the rocker switch we are gonna need this connection so do not destroy this connection that is on the rocker switch we're gonna cut it about I'd say yay yay high let's go ahead and get this wiring exposed get all three spliced open once you have these spliced open just like that now you want to go ahead and get your switch and we're going to go ahead and splice all four wires open get the two reds and put the heat shrink over the two reds okay so cali ray switch two reds put them together put the heat shrink right over grab the two wires and just kind of twist the wiring together the heat shrink put it over the green one Heat shrink is not needed, but it looks nicer. Heat shrink over the black one. Go ahead and get our connectors. First one for the black, crimp it down. Give it a little tug, should it move. Next one for the green. Last male connection on the two reds, crimp it down. So this is where you should be at right now. Now we're gonna go ahead and focus on here, the female connector. Right, now that I have everything heat shrinked and connected and it just looks super clean. Alright, so this is the connections that everybody always ends up mistaking and then I end up getting emails for. So please uh, pay attention to this section here. Focusing on the Cali Ray switch. We connected the two reds together just like this. And over here on the aux beam wire harness, there's one red there. So those two are gonna connect together. I'm not gonna connect them all the way in because like I said, I have to disconnect this when I send it to you guys. And then as far as the black on the Cali Ray switch, I didn't connect it to the black of the aux beam wire harness. So now Cali Ray switch, the green wire is gonna go with the aux beam yellow wire. So now you should be in this position here. So once you're here, you wanna go ahead and tape this section off by itself, tape the red ones by themselves and tape the black ones by themselves. If you have access to some Tessa wire loom tape, you can always uh, wrap that over and maybe wrap all this access wire as well with the Tessa wire loom tape just to give it a cleaner look. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the switch. I'm gonna go ahead and the hood of my truck and we're gonna go ahead and connect the two connections just to show you that all this works. All right, so before we get into it, uh, I am gonna get up close right now just to show you exactly where to put your uh, red wire, which is the positive, and where to put your black wire. Uh, but now that I laid out everything and you guys saw just exactly how to connect the light bar to the switch and all that um, As you can tell I haven't changed anything. I just brought you guys a little bit closer. I set the light bar up here, but Everything's the same as long as you follow directions. You'll be fine. So as you can tell The switch is not turned on so I'm gonna go ahead and push it Turns on the light bar and it turns on the switch. Let's go ahead and uh, Turn it off once again. As you can tell, that's off and the light on here is off. 
So if you paid attention to my instructions and you did everything correctly, you will be in the correct uh, zone and it will work out uh, with no problem. Now you guys know how to mount a light bar or ditch lights anywhere in your vehicle. You guys uh, have the knowledge that I have and you guys can go ahead and uh, do this for your friends, do this for yourself, save some money, share your knowledge. It's all about that. Knowledge is power, you guys. So I know it is a little bit dirty, so please excuse that. So here's your relay, here's your red wiring uh, that comes with the fuse. So the red one, you're gonna wanna connect that to the positive of your battery. And then let's go ahead and put that to the side. Now for the black one that's right here with the relay that's connected, that one you can either just directly connect it to the negative of the battery, but I don't like to do that. This negative side, which is the black one, uh, you're gonna notice there's a wire that's coming in right here and it's connected to this. That's usually where I connect my negative side. So you just wanna go ahead and remove that bolt, put this right under and it connects just like that. And as far as for the, for the relay that you're gonna have left over, I usually just mount them off to the side right here. As you can tell, one is mounted there and one is mounted over here. Uh, Cali Raised does make brackets, but for the aux beam wire harness, it won't fit. Uh, if you do get the wire harness from Cali Raised, uh, that one will fit it, of course. All right, so if you like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to enter into the giveaway. Super easy. channel welcome my new